Sky Prophet, baby. Back with another video for you. Hope you woke up in a good headspace. Hope you woke up thankful and appreciative. Understanding that each and every time you get to open them eyes, each and every time you get to keep that life force, that air you breathe, each time you get to correct things is a blessing. Is a blessing for you. Right now, if you can hear this, another chance. Everything's shifting. I know you can feel it. Might not understand it fully, but you got to embrace it. You have to embrace it. It's trying to take you somewhere you've never been. Prophet sending blessings, guidance, and protection, integrity, strength, focus, and understanding each individual out there. No exceptions. Never no exceptions. Quick word for you. You're finally coming around to understanding how you can shape and shift your reality. Your thinking patterns beginning to change. The things you think about beginning to change. The things you're aware of beginning to change. It's not only those patterns, it's your overall energy. It might not be fully transformed, but that's the process you in. Completely transforming your overall energy to you. See, we got this free choice. Come and go as we please. Whatever decision you make, whatever decision you want to make, that's the one you make, all right? The more we embrace the God within ourselves, the more you embrace the God within yourself, the better life becomes. The better life becomes. Trusting in spirit, that faith, that belief, it's always been based on things you haven't seen, things yet to be revealed to you. Is that trust, is that love, is that understanding. You uniquely made uniquely made which means the purpose that you have nobody else could do it nobody else could do the things you came to do a lot of times we get here and we shall I say disregard the importance of things, disregard the importance of things. And it takes us, it takes us, it takes us to, it takes us to places that we always have to say we should have. It takes us to places where we always feel in some kind of regret. We always feeling like we did something wrong. We not good enough. You know, and things ain't worth it. You know, those type of places. Right now, if you just sit down, give yourself a minute or two with any question that you could be faced with, it's solution in that spirit gonna give you. It's solution in there. The reason you you pass looking at profit, like you, I need you to understand that even if that's what you think you're doing, that's that's not what's pulling you back to watching these videos. It's your soul. It's your soul. It's your soul that pulls you to watch 
any kind of video pertaining to you getting better, enhancing yourself, coming closer with the divine. Remember, you got more control than you used to have. Remember, you better than you was. Remember, you got through all of those things by making decisions, by understanding your faults, understanding your wrongs, accepting things, accepting things about other individuals. That's how you get to where you at. You've got it sorted so much, it's time to bond with spirit. You have it that much, I'm not going to say organized. You have that much control over it through your thinking. You have that much more knowledge about it, wisdom about things intuition about things if you can say you not in a better place than you used to be mentally prophet wouldn't believe you I wouldn't believe you everybody in that same place see it's confusing because you gotta you gotta realize and you gotta remember whenever you take a human and a human being is faced with trusting in the unseen, it comes with it comes with stress, it comes with fear, certain fears. You know it's not it's not necessarily a fear as far as it's scared to succeed. It be scared to succeed, scared to fail. You know, and that's the reason for a lot of individuals not going toward things. Wise words, wise words. If it's something that you love, if it's something that gives you satisfaction within yourself. It's something you came to do. I can't say to what extent, but it's something you came to experience. All of these things that's that's coming out of your heart, all of these things that's tugging at you, it it's a reason for it. Like it's a reason for it. You gotta embrace it, and that's the God, that's the compassion. That's the open-mindedness within you. See that image? Image and likeness. Image and likeness. If you could think of the attributes that come with that, it's not just love. It's not just compassion. It's so, so much that comes with that. Your creator. Image and likeness. Think of how big this world is. Think of how much order this world is in. As much chaos as you might see. Think about the order of it. Think about how repetitious these seasons come and go. These days and nights come and go. Think about how long every individual that has stepped foot on this earth has been sustaining themselves through that spirit of the breath, life force. If everything is intertwined to a oneness in some kind of way, Think about the supremeness of your being if you have that image and likeness within you. 
some of y'all out there, y'all y'all live day to day, and y'all don't even think of, you know, create. Y'all get thoughts, little thoughts. It's things a lot of y'all like to do. It's things a lot of y'all like to do. Whether you used to do it and you stopped doing it, however it goes, this is this is just a nudge for you to pick that back up. Pick it back up. Like we gotta start doing, you gotta start doing things that you like. Things that that your soul and your heart gravitates to gravitates to you done been through everything and got to this point this is the shift this is the shift you remember all them days you used to be frustrated you remember them days you used to be pissed off at him or pissed off at her you remember that like the arguing and the how shit gonna work out and it's always you remember those days and it wasn't just you it was it was everybody else experiencing the same thing think about it you nowhere near that place in space right now nowhere near that place in space right now thankful and appreciative it should just be a common theme for you a common theme for you If you give somebody something, whether you're looking for them to say thank you or not, you appreciate if they do. Whether you're looking for it or not, you appreciate it if they do. Spirit, God, don't judge you. There's no judgments. And I have to say that because we need to know that because the actions and the ways in which we think and go about things, we always coming around to thinking we don't do something right. And I don't care who listening, this is for everybody. We always come around to these places and spaces within ourselves. We don't do this right. This could be better. Why did we do these things? Just drop, drop, drop the thinking. Just drop the thinking. When you open your eyes, just be thankful. However you do it, your prayer, your meditation, to each his own, is all going to the same place. But after you do that, set your intentions. Just be open-minded to see what come your way. Open-minded to embracing some of the thoughts that come into your head. You know, make you or break you. I'm not gonna say make you or break is a real thing like that, but a lot of these thoughts, it can just, it can either help you or just hinder you, keep you stagnant. But it's a reason that they come in. It's a reason they come in. Embrace the new, embrace the change. See, for you changing and transforming your energy, spirit allowing you to do that, that's because you're coming into all of these knowings. You're coming into the wisdom that you have. So a lot of the decisions that you used to make or would have made, you wouldn't make it no more. You're not within that energy. Understand why your energy changing. Because you're maturing. You're maturing. The more we mature, the more we can think with the God within ourselves. The more we can think with the God within ourselves and the better life becomes. See, a better life is different for everybody, but they got this certain better that we have in this within the mind frame and it consists of all kind of materialistic shit. And that's not, that's not that. Nothing, nothing, nothing about being rich within yourself has nothing to do with money. I want you to understand that like this is a way of life 
but you can't take it. Your soul can't carry it with you. Your soul can't carry it with you. Protect your energy, protect yourself to and from, watch your surroundings. Watch what you take in your ears, watch what you give out your mouth. Help somebody if you can, man. Give somebody some words of encouragement if you can. Prophet got words of encouragement. Is a few of y'all. I don't know the exact number, but there's a couple of y'all. Y'all getting the thought. Y'all know it's right. Make it right. Keep it right. Try your best. Disciplines is the way to do it. Discipline yourself in certain ways. All you're doing is building a certain structure for yourself within your mind frame. That's what discipline is. Certain structure about yourself within your mind frame. It's going to take you to a certain place. That's what we discipline ourselves for. We don't do it for nothing. You don't say I'm going to discipline myself and be better just, just to be better. It's, 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 it's wants. It's, 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 it's core teachings, man, that we have within us. It's these seeds we have. It's like nobody have to tell you right and wrong. Whoever listening, you know. Like, you know. Your rights and your wrongs might be different from other individuals. But on an individual level, each individual has that intuition, has that discernment about themselves. Whether you realize you, you have it and you're using it, it's there. It's there. And that's what this shift is, to let you understand is there it's always been there and not only that allowing you and trying to show you how to use it how to make it a part of your everyday decision making be back with another video man i love everybody man sky prophet baby peace out